Hello and welcome to Hansuke's AEOI Conversations. I am Ali Kazmi, and it's my pleasure to welcome my colleague, Ahmed Nawab. Hi, Ahmed. Hi. Um, one of the areas, Ahmed, that uh, firms notoriously find difficult is in relation to US uh, tax identification numbers, TINs. Um, would you care to share with us what's the latest position on that? Sure, Ali. Um, the IRS will be very active in this area. Um, in light of that, uh, the IRS has issued uh, nine digit codes in place of the TIN for reporting FFIs to explain why um, they don't have US TINs. Now, um, on the back of that, the IRS is also issuing a 120 day notice for the RFIs or reporting for institutions to go and actively obtain those things. They must also demonstrate and evidence what efforts or what procedures they've undertaken to obtain those things. And at the end of the 120 days, they must refile with the information they have obtained, the RFI, the things they've obtained. And again, use the nine digit codes to explain why they have not been able to obtain those things. Excellent, thank you. And so firms that find themselves in, in difficulties and being able to comply with these requirements, what, what are the practical things they can do? Well, it's very important to, number one, establish a documented procedure, evidence what work has now been done by the FR reporting fund institution to, in obtaining the TINs. It's very important because uh, a reporting fund institution, if it fails to comply with the 120-day notice, may enter into compliance review with the IRS. It's an 18-month long process. And, you know, Follow the requirements under the IGAs with respect to non-respondent uh, individuals. Thank you very much, Ahmed. And thank you for listening today. And we look forward to welcoming you to future episodes.